Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about composing numbers using tens and ones. A double digit number can be made up of tens, ones, or a mix of them both. 110 is 110 and zero ones, or 10 ones. 20 is two tens and zero ones, or 20 ones. 30, three tens, zero ones, or 30 ones. 40, four tens, zero ones, or 40 ones. 50, five tens, zero ones, or 50 ones. 60, six tens, zero ones, or 60 ones. 70, seven tens, zero ones, or 70 ones. 80, eight tens, zero ones, or 80 ones. 90, nine tens, zero ones, or 90 ones. Let's practice with some new double digit numbers. So let's first look at the number 74. Well, 74 can be seven tens and four ones, or 74 ones. How about 47? Well, 47 can be four tens and seven ones, or 47 ones. For our last example, let's look at the number 22. So 22 can be written as two tens or two ones, but it can also be written as one ten and 12 ones. This may look a little goofy, but this is actually how regrouping works. So these students may have to combine different amounts of tens and ones when they regroup in addition and subtraction. Therefore, having a strong understanding of tens and ones will benefit students as they work to a higher level addition and subtraction problems. 